started my third trimester and obviously I'm pregnant with twins. So I was expecting to be a lot more uncomfortable than I am at this point. My belly is huge compared to what it was the last time that I was pregnant. Um, so yeah, that definitely makes shaving a lot harder um, for one, but also just like, I'm always bumping my belly into the door when I get into the car. Okay. So obviously things have been a little bit different for people who are pregnant during a pandemic. We don't get to see our families as much. We're isolated. Um, and it's just not as loving of an experience as it normally would be. Um, so I partnered with Chic Intuition to throw mommy showers for three first time moms just to make sure that they feel loved during this time. And it's just been really cool. We, we got together like three different packages. One of them's baby moon themed, one of them's a party theme, and then one of them's craving themed. And we gifted each one a different one and they each had their um, two in one razor in them. So it makes it easier for them to shave as well, lathers and shaves at the same time. So cutting out that extra stuff is awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really fun to just connect with them and share a little positivity and insight as a second time mom and hear their stories and what they've gone through during this time, their pregnancy and the pandemic. And um, they were just really awesome girls. It was really cool to allow them to share their story. I love that. I think that is so much fun. I mean, how are you feeling? You look fantastic. I've been following along on Instagram. You look so good. You are more than halfway through. Are things starting to get a little bit more difficult for you, like shaving your legs, tying your shoes, things like that? <laughs> yes. Um, I actually am surprised by how good I feel at this point because I just started my third trimester and obviously I'm pregnant with twins. So I was expecting to be a lot more uncomfortable than I am at this point. My belly is huge compared to what it was the last time that I was pregnant. Um, so yeah, that definitely makes shaving a lot harder um, for one, but also just like I'm always bumping my belly into the door when I get into the car and random stuff like that. But um, I'm expecting myself to get a little bit more uncomfortable as the weeks go on, but I think I only have, I don't know, like maybe less than 10 weeks left crazy most. so it's just crazy how fast it's gone by is it like is it flying by for you or are you just like at this point you're like I can't wait for this to be over <laughs> it's gone by to be yeah. honest I I feel like Alessi the pregnancy with Alessi dragged on forever mm -hmm. and this one I'm just like oh my gosh I can't believe I'm already in my third trimester like where did it go and I think it's just because I'm not obsessing over every little detail this time mm -hmm. and more occupied with taking care of Alessi and trying to balance work and plan like fun date nights for Ari and I and keep that spark alive <laughs> and there's just a lot going on so I have less time to really sit and think about it. Totally and I saw that you were rocking some bikinis on your baby moon I mean like I said you look so good I mean where do you get your baby body confidence from or are you insecure about things? Yeah I mean I'm definitely insecure about some things just as everyone else is um like my skin isn't as smooth and tight as it normally is so I, I wear like shirts over my bathing suit sometimes just because I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm sharing a lot of skin here. Like <laughs> I can't fit one piece of bathing suit. So I'm wearing two pieces all the time, but there's just a lot of belly happening. Mm -hmm. So um, I try and cover up just a little so I don't scare anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I do feel very confident at the same time though, because I think, I mean, after we had our miscarriage last year, I just am so grateful for being able to be pregnant again, that that stuff is just kind of irrelevant to me. I'm just like rocking it and embracing it. And it's just such a beautiful time for me. Definitely, it is. I mean, does Ari find you sexier when you're pregnant? He definitely talks about that, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I love that belly. I miss it when it's gone. He's like, I'm so happy that it's back. <laughs> so You're like, I don't miss it when it's gone. <laughs> like, I actually want to do. Like, I funny when yeah. you're like when you ha give birth like you always feel like your your baby your bump should still be there yeah I know it's it's funny like especially right after you give birth it's like oh my gosh I miss feeling those kicks and you just feel kind of like a deflated balloon <laughs> a little bit you're like oh I wish I had my belly because everything looked cute on me then but Totally. I know when uh, the last time we spoke, uh, you know, you were kind of starting to prepare Alessi for dealing with, you know, all the changes that are about to happen. I mean, is she starting to understand it a little bit more or is she like, I know I see her kissing your belly every now and then, but does she get it? I think she's getting it a little bit more as we keep going. 
Um, I took her to her first ultrasound with me this weekend, um, Ari and her actually, because Ari hasn't been able to come to my appointments with me. So it was fun for her to kind of see that the lady had the ultrasound machine on my stomach and then you could see the baby on the screen. So I think maybe that helped her put two and two together a little bit more, but she's always talking to them and being like, hi, baby, and kissing them and yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> I love that. I know you had some intense first trimester symptoms. I mean, did they kind of ease up in the second trimester? And what are kind of your symptoms now? Or is it, is it kind of smooth sailing now? Yeah, the first trimester was really, really difficult. Like my nausea was next level compared to the first pregnancy. Um, so that was really hard. I actually ended up having to like take Nimsom and B12, I think, to like curb that every day. And I never had to do that in the first pregnancy. Um, and I was eating a ton. Uh, I'm vegetarian, but I actually had to like eat meat in the first trimester because I just felt like I couldn't get enough protein. Mm -hmm. um, but now I'm back to my regular diet in the second trimester. Everything is just, it's a lot better. I'm still tired, but um, yeah, I'm just, I don't nap very often because I don't get a chance to because I'm a toddler. Right. <laughs> but, you know, I just, it's been pretty much smooth sailing to this point, but in my last pregnancy, I got very swollen and very uncomfortable. Um, so I'm kind of expecting that to maybe happen this time, crossing my fingers. It doesn't, but it can. Definitely. I mean, what's one thing that no one told you about pregnancy that you were better prepared for this time around? Um, hmm. I feel like there's a lot of things that people tell you, um, that don't matter as much as the things that they don't tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to think, I guess, like, just not to worry so much about your body changing. I think I obsessed over that the first time I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gaining 50 pounds. This is crazy. Cause for me, that's like half my body weight. Mm -hmm. So it shocked me. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gaining so much weight. But then after that, my body bounced back and it was fine. And I just put a lot of unnecessary pressure on myself in that department. And then as well as like breastfeeding after I had Alessi, I put so much immense pressure on myself to breastfeed for at least a year. And I wasn't able to do that. So I just stressed myself out more than I feel like I needed to be. And I think this time going into it, I'm just setting my expectations a lot lower and realizing that whatever I can do is okay. Like that's enough. And I don't need to do any more than that. Totally. As long as you're happy, then the babies are happy. They're getting fed. That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> do you, um, do you ever get Instagram mom envy of people? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I, mean, I guess, I don't know if it would be envy, but I love seeing other moms with their kids on there and admiring them, I guess, more than anything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do, uh, does the labor and delivery of the twins scare you at all? I think, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not nervous about the labor part as much, but I'm, I haven't had a C-section before and surgery just kind of scares me. So I'm nervous about having to have a C-section because both of my babies are breached. Mm -hmm. So there is a possibility that that will happen. I think, you know, nine times out of 10, I'll probably have a C-section. So yeah. <laughs> about that yeah is there anything that scares you about the newborn phase of twins yes I'm um, not getting any sleep at all I heard like twins are especially difficult because you're not sleeping as it is with the newborn but you have two so one will wake up and want to eat and then they'll wake the other one up and they'll want to eat at the same time and I just see that going downhill really fast and not being able to sleep at all. Have you and Ari like figured out a plan of like the, the who's going to do like a man on man defense between the two of them? <laughs> I think we'll probably do something similar to what we did with Alessi, um, which was I wake up and feed them. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just going to pause for a second. <laughs> wake up and feed them. Um, if I'm able to breastfeed both of them, I'm not really even sure how that's going to go, but. After that, I'll just hand that baby off to Ari. He can change them, get them back to sleep, and then I'll feed the other one. Or I don't honestly, we haven't planned too much. We're kind of just taking it day by day. As you should. It's going to be a juggling act, but it'll be a lot of fun. I know uh, when we spoke last time, you said you had the names picked out. Are you standing firm on those names? Is that is that still it? Yeah, we are. We've yeah. had them picked out since before Leslie was born. So, yeah. 
Exactly. Are they like special meaning names to you guys or are they just names that you just really like? So one of them, one of them was for a special reason mm-hmm. that we picked that one. And then actually later on, they both became a special meaning behind them. And I'm trying not to say too much because I don't want to give them away, but um, they both do have a really special meaning and I, I'm really excited to share it once they are here. Love that. I love that. I know you said it before, but what is the, the meaning behind Alessi's name? We're asking all moms like the names behind uh, their kids' names or the meaning behind their kids' names. Um, I think hers is like like strength and I, I want to say it was like a leader. I, it's been so long since I read it, but um, I just really loved the way that it sounded and it was unique and I wanted her to have a name that was her own that not every other kid in her class had to. So that was a big reason why we chose her name. Definitely. I know uh, you got everybody talking in the last couple of weeks that you guys are moving to Hawaii, not moving to Hawaii, sometimes moving to Hawaii. So what's going on? Is it just your, your second home, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to be splitting time between Arizona and Hawaii. We're not going to be there full time, but um, for anyone who's been to Arizona during the summer, you know, it's kind of miserable here. So we just wanted to have a good escape. And I've always wanted to be near the beach. And that was one of the things Ari and I talked about when I moved here. I was like, I don't mind living in Arizona. Your family is there. But I want to be able to escape to the beach at some point. So this was kind of like our negotiation. (laughs) I love that. How are renovations going? Do you have to do a lot of renovations in the house or things like that? I know you kind of gave everybody a little bit of a house tour. Um, For Hawaii? Yeah. No, it's actually fully remodeled already. So Yeah, we're probably not going to do much of anything to that house. There's just like one little section that I'd love to extend the patio over where the garage is. But other than that, it's pretty much done already. So it's super nice. Oh my God, that's going to be so, uh, that's going to be so much fun for you and for the kids to kind of, you know, have memories in both places. And I know you're renovating the twins nursery now too. How's that going? (laughs) Yes. So our main house we're living in now is undergoing a huge renovation. Um, I think we're a little bit crazy taking all this on at one time. We were trying to get it done before the twins were going to be here, but with COVID, the permit process is a little bit delayed. So um, yeah, we're probably going to be ripping out the floors, um, painting the walls, changing everything right as the twins are about to be born. (laughs) So it's perfect. 